I'm Jenny Gilbert, I'm the co-founder of Cairns Turtle Rehabilitation Centre and I also do research at James Cook University. We started this 22 years ago with one turtle and two people and now we have four centres and we actually have over 100 volunteers. Behind us we've got Sharon, she was found by a lady down at Mission Beach. She'd been floating for so long, she was so sick that she had full thickness sunburn right through her shell. Huge thank you to Cairns Convention Centre for sponsoring her that gives us the ability to rehabilitate her. So the process that we go through is somebody rings the stranding hotline, either we go and collect it or somebody brings it in. First of all, they're taken to Marlin Coast Vet Hospital where they're assessed. Treatment is given to them accordingly there. Then normally what we do is we take them to if, um, James Cook University and that's our intensive care centre. Then they go down to the aquarium, which is our triage centre when they don't need you know, daily monitoring, but they still need weekly monitoring. And then from there, they come out to Fitzroy Island to the island resort. <laughs> and this is their last stage of rehabilitation before they're ready to be released back out into the wild. There's a huge synergy between the Cairns Convention Centre and the Turtle Rehabilitation Centre. They stepped forward and they rang and they said, we want to support a turtle, rehabilitate it and release it back out into the wild. What a great thing that is. Passion is in our nature. Some people do something about it and they actually step forward and help. Our volunteers all connect with all the turtles. Everybody does it for the sheer passion and the love of these animals and to get them back and back out into the wild. I love the Great Barrier Reef. I love working in Cairns and what a wonderful place to be.